Hey friends, we're going to finish our resurrection eggs today in Bible. I hope you guys enjoyed going through these little eggs. So we are going to today, let's review uh, the meaning of Easter and our essential question. Easter is where we remember that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day and went up to heaven. Our essential question is what is the meaning of Easter? Creation, fall, redemption? Jesus, God's rescue plan. Luke 24, 34, say it with me. Simon Peter saying, the Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. All right, so I'm going to open up egg number 10 today. We've got three more eggs and then we're finished. I don't really hear anything in this one. Let's see what it is. It looks like a little piece of cloth like a linen cloth. Does anyone know what the linen cloth represents? Let's look and see. Oop. Here we go. Joseph took the body of Jesus and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. So today we're going to read from Matthew 27, 57 through 60. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it on his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. What's inside the blue egg? A piece of cloth. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. This was a brave and loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe that he was the son of God, but Joseph did believe, and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. Joseph knew that this might get him in trouble with the soldiers, but he was brave and asked permission anyway. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in a cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock like a shallow grave. Joseph then went away sad because Jesus was dead and he wondered what would happen next. Let's find out. Egg number 11 has something hard inside of it. Let's see. Oh. It's a stone. Oop. I dropped the stone. Um, let's read and find out about the stone. The stone was rolled away. And I'm going to read to you from Let me get from Matthew 28 2 through 4. And and behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came back and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of the guards trembled, and for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. Matthew 28, 2, 3, 4. What's inside the pink egg? A stone. The stone that was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb was much bigger than the stone in the egg. It was as big as a door and probably weighed more than a car. After Jesus was buried, special soldiers were assigned to stand guard at the tomb. But these men were no match for God's angel. It took just one angel to roll the stone away. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. Where did the angel get his strength? From God. All right. And we have one final egg. I'm kind of sad that this is the end because I've enjoyed going through these eggs. Let's see. Egg number 12, the last egg this week. And I don't hear anything. I wonder what's inside. Let's see. Nothing. There's nothing inside the egg. Why would the last egg be empty, do you think? Think about that for a minute. And think about the Easter story. Why would the egg be empty? Let's read and find out. The empty egg. The tomb was empty. Jesus is alive. Matthew 28, 5 through 6. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come. See the place where he lay. Look inside the white egg. It's empty. Are you surprised? When two women came to the tomb of Jesus, they were surprised too. The heavy stone was rolled inside and the tomb was empty. Jesus' body was not there. The angel told them he has risen. 
Jesus had come back to life. This was the promise Jesus had made to his disciples at their special dinner just a few days before, that he would die but would come back to life to show those who believed in him that they could live forever too. Someday, because Jesus died for us, we can meet him and thank him in heaven. That's the story of Easter, and it's true. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed going through these eggs, and I want you to think about Jesus for a moment, and think about have you accepted Jesus as your Savior? Do you know him? He died on the cross for you and for me, and if you want to ever talk more about that, let me know and let your parents know. I hope you guys enjoyed going through the resurrection eggs and that you have a great day. Thanks, guys.